Now that we are done with both explicit and implicit intents, this is a very nice challenge to make sure that you understand what we've learned. So you'll see on the on the main activity, what I want you to do is to create an app with a text view there and a button that says create new contact. Now on this activity, there's a few components that I've hidden so that when I start the next activity and I come back to this one, I will only start displaying it. So see if you can do that. I'm going to click on create new contact. I'm just going to add a name there. You add a telephone number there. So we're going to use implicit intents here as well. And a website, let's say back in this dot com and a location I'm going to say five Nelson Mandela let's say Bloemfontein and then you can choose one of these pictures and which whichever picture you choose here will will also be shown on the next activity so if I click on the red face there it's going to go back and show the red face there so this is again the activity where we started we started with this activity, but I've hidden these components. So now they are showing. And you can see the exact same face I clicked on the other side is showing now. Also, if I click on call, I'll have exactly that number I typed on the other activity. As well as if I go to the website and I say open up with Chrome or what, whichever browser, uh, it will open up that web page that I specified. And I specified backendless.com. Also, if I click on the location, it should go to Nelson Mandela Drive in Bluefontein. Right, and that's basically then the app that you need to create. So see if you can create this. This will be a nice exercise, a nice challenge for you to, under to see if you understand explicit and implicit intents. Good luck.